All right, they have upgraded my room lighting studio setup without breaking a bank. Too much, without breaking a bank too much, because this still wasn't cheap. This is the Godox SL100BI. It's a 100 watt LED light that can output white light between 2800 and 6500 kelvins. It's very compact and light, which is perfect for small home studios like my bedroom loft. This only sent me back £108 from Amazon, which is still far cheaper than some of the more expensive counterparts. There is a cheaper model of the SL100, which is a non bicolor light, which only outputs daylight at 5600 kelvins. So you cannot adjust this warmth, and that model will only be around £130. I also decided to buy a softbox for the light. Since my old setup wasn't balanced mount compatible, I purchased the Godox SBUE 80cm softbox, which comes with a honeycomb grid which I've always wanted after seeing how nice of an effect it has on the subjects. This cost me around £69. And since this light didn't come with a stand, I also had to purchase a small rig light stand, which can double up as a C stand with a secondary extendable pole. It has a max load of 5kg which should be enough to carry the light and the honeycomb grid. This sent me back around £89. So this total setup costs around £338 which is just as much as the Amaran 200X which was another potential buy. There are also much more pricier stands and softboxes so in my opinion this one's a steal and a really budget setup. I don't know if you can tell too much but I've upgraded my lighting setup and used to have a cheapo lighting kit from Amazon and this was still from Amazon but it's much higher quality almost studio quality should I say but yeah prior to this I had a budget lighting setup from newer um, it came with like two lights and a backdrop and now while that wasn't bad the thing with that though is the light wasn't dimmable so it was just a constant light and it was incandescent bulbs I believe whereas this thing is LED so it doesn't get too hot there was some videos where I was obviously sweating because the light was just getting so hot when it was shining down on me for like almost an hour or two while I was filming videos. So having an LED light is a blessing. Um, right now I have this as an overhead setup. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but obviously I didn't have the C-stand or the right lighting gear to have because I just feel like it gives it a very kind of soft and dramatic look to things. I've kind of moved the forward a little bit so I'm not like directly under the light because if I am directly under the light, you can see that it's kind of just shining on my big forehead and everything's kind of shadowy. But if I step back, it's still kind of that effect, but at least like there's still some light spill coming in at an angle to my face. So kind of lighting me up and it's really awesome. This is definitely my favorite setup. So now the really good thing about this lighting setup is that it's controllable via the Godox app. So as you can tell, um, like I said, the light is above me, it's overhead and it's really high up. I can't actually reach it unless I get like a step ladder. But luckily once it's on, I can control it via the app. And again, this light is dimmable. Um, I can change the temperature. So this is around 2,800 kelvins. This is the warmest it can get. And the coolest it can get is around 6,500 kelvins. And again, this is awesome. So I'm on 69% um, on right now. So I can dim it. So this is totally off. Um, and this is at 100%. So it can get pretty bright. And yeah, so I've kind of just finally figured out my whole like talk to face kind of set up um i've got the light above here i've got some accent lights behind me so these are the lamp is just from ikea and i've got philips hue bulbs on there as you can see it really adds like a kind of dimension to it because when it's off um let me turn off this as well this is like much more dramatic it's kind of this almost feels like an interrogation scene or i'm here to like kind of or like i'm here to give a youtube apology video about something that i've yet to do I also have on the honeycomb grid. Um, the honeycomb is used to kind of focus the light more on me. So you can see it's like not as harsh because if I take it off, one sec. I don't know if you can tell now. So without the honeycomb, it's just so much brighter. So if this is a look that I'm going for, um, this is actually really fine as well. It's pretty clear. A lot more light is like spilling into the room because it's not as controlled. It's just kind of bam, bit too bright, but again, if I do find this one's a bit too bright, we just bring it down with the app because again, it's dimmable. Um, but yeah, I, I really like the honeycomb. And because this has a very sturdy C stand, it's really flexible and I can kind of adjust the different lighting that I want. So let's kind of switch it to a non overhead light. Yeah, so I'm going to kind of change it from the overhead lighting now. Um, as you can see, uh, it's just Velcro. So it's really easy to put on and take off. Um, it's actually surprisingly really tough Velcro. I've already kind of broke 
um, a piece of it because I was a bit too rough. And the Velcro is pretty strong, see look. Damn it. You can see how much of an effect the honeycomb grid has. Without it, it's just really, really bright. Almost looks like I'm being abducted right now. It's like a spaceship. And there's so many knobs and handles and adjustments to this like seat stand that you can really control the lighting angles. See how you see fit. And obviously this is the boom arm that you can extend. But yeah, really excited about this and see what I can do with it. Because without lighting, this is what I'd normally the light, normal lighting that I'd use. Um, it's kind of dull. So let's say if I do want to light myself up like this and not with the overhead light. See, so this is still as nice as coming at me from 45 degree angle. Still kind of bright. As you, again, there's so much spill in the back. Even if I were to, um, even if I were to kind of dim it. Still quite a bit of a spill. Again, this isn't too bad. So we're gonna put the honeycomb back on. And again, as you can see, it's a bit nicer, more diffused, and more kind of concentrated to me, the subject, without spilling out around the room. But yeah, this is awesome. But yeah, with my old stand, it wasn't a C-stand. It was actually just a kind of like flimsy stand like this. Um, so I could only really get like this 45 degree look. Uh, but I think from now on I'm going to go with the overhead lighting just because just because I can and I think I like that setup a little bit more. So the lens is a Bose adapter. Um, I think that's the standard thing when it comes to lighting kits. Um, so it's got this like quick release that I can just push and twist. So yeah, so they kind of have that kind of circle attachment with those three points. That's apparently a Bose adapter. Who knew? So the lens also comes with this spotlight hood as a default attachment that it comes with. Um, so this kind of gives a different effect to the lighting. It's a bit more focused, a bit more focused. You know, the light isn't a soft, it's more of a spotlight. It's like I'm in an interrogation scene where aliens are coming down to me. Um, so I could just turn that down. Another cool thing about this light is it comes with effects. Um, there's several effects here. So let's just quickly go through it. This has got a flashlight type of effect. Um, so it's just light flashing on my face. This one's called lightning. So it's here to kind of mimic lightning. This one's candle. This one's pretty cool. So it kind of mimics like a candle lit room. So the normal Godox SL100 won't have this because it doesn't have the warm light in. So only the BI version would have this, the more fire effect. So this is the candle. This is like a live fire. This is really cool. So I could pretend that there's like a fireplace, a slit or a campfire. This one's firework. Ooh, okay, so we're back to the overhead setup. Um, setting up isn't easy, but it's not difficult either. Um, but I am kind of out of breath, so I don't know if you noticed that throughout the video. And it's also a mix because I'm just really excited of what I can do with this light. Um, like this is the best lighting setup I've had ever. And I'm still kind of learning how to properly light scenes. I can really tell this is gonna be my most favorite purchase of this year, um, just because it adds a lot to my setup. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this kind of hands-on review pretty much all over the place but that's also because i'm really excited about the gear and what i can do with it and at the same time start of the year i'm still trying to get used to talking to the camera again and that's just me rambling on so if you have any questions about the light comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe blah 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 peace